We met about a decade ago um, at uh, at the illustrious Big Apple Anime Fest, which is no longer uh, in existence. And uh, we were at a convention panel, uh, which he and I go to occasionally. And I sat down, and he sat down. And probably after five or ten minutes of uh, goofing around, uh, what did I say? You said, uh, I believe the, the exact quote was, hey, you know what? We should be best friends. Right. And I accepted without hesitation. Yeah, yeah we, that's a great idea. We weren't 13. We were in our 20s somewhere or, yeah, we were in the, our mid-20s. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I don't know. But we don't take our – here's the thing. The the unifying thing with Sam and I is that we don't take ourselves very seriously. Not at all. I'm an idiot. And I'm not wearing pants. Um and I, I think I could tell that early on. and uh, that, I, that I wasn't wearing pants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell alone. <laughs> so I'd been in L.A. for a year, and he was about to move out. And um, I don't know. It, just seemed, it was love at first sight. It so was. So here we are. There was strings. Are. There was magic. Mm-hmm. There was a timpani. It was beautiful. Let me paint the picture for our audience if I can. Mm-hmm. Liam is normally clean shaven. He's got... Usually a pretty tight haircut. I'm talking like a number one on the Clippers tight. Like, he's he's a cue ball. I'm a bald as a motherfucker yeah. these days. But right now, he's got this sort of... In West Hollywood, they'd be called bears. <laughs> you know, just sort of this yeah. manly, like, oh, man, that guy really <laughs> likes to have sex with twinks. Sort of a, <laughs> sort of a, a vibe going on. <laughs> well, if it quacks like a duck. <laughs> I was in an anime this week. I was in an anime series. Right, we both dubbed the same anime. Same series, anime right. series, yeah. Right. Uh, I play a sort of. A... I was struck by how um, young and effeminate he was. My did... my character. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know he was. You were in the show, and uh, during some a preview of what I was about to do, I heard your voice saying a name, <laughs> and immediately started uh, <laughs> snort laughing. <laughs> In the booth and and ask for a minute because I uh, wasn't I, I wasn't expecting it. I play a foppish, debonair. Basically, my rule as an actor. Uh huh. This is just me. I assume every character I play is gay. Uh huh. Until told otherwise. Right. Well, that the one word that popped in my head was twink. <laughs> okay. It was, it was just one word, and I went twink. That's when I heard that's it. my starting point. Right. If people, so if you're a director out there and you're going to be directing me mm-hmm. in something, I recommend the first direction you give me. Tell me my sexual orientation because otherwise <laughs> I'm playing I'm assuming gay. Straight up flamboyant. Right. Yes. Another another unifying factor between Sam and I. True. Let us know what fun things that we could do together. A two-person activity or a multiple person activity. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, use your imagination. Right. Think you of... Not spooning. We do that already. A related note. Yes. Sam has just taken off an outer level of clothing. And he is now dressed for Rush Zone. And I don't know if I'll be able to concentrate as much because now he's in a tank top. I'm, I feel like I haven't gotten my Sammy time. Oh. And if I don't get my Sammy time, it's kind of like sex in a way. In a way. In, in a way. In, in every way. In every way. I lose a little bit of a, the skip in my step if oh. I don't get some Sam time. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Liam. I think it's the Bushmills Black Bush talking. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's been it's been upsetting to be away from my best BFF here, Liam O'Brien, for so long. Mm. We actually tried to play online last night, mm. but uh, PlayStation Network was shut down. They, BSN our plan, failed plans. us. Yes, failed us. but tonight we're back. We're back. It's so great to to see you again, to smell you. We're locked in our little booth again, and <laughs> it's getting warmer in here by the second. Ah, oh, it's great. We're sitting on a little ledge, and if I wanted to like sort of flirt with Sam, I could rub my knee against his because we're sitting. This is meant for one, and we got two, so True. I'm sitting next to him. And we're not wearing pants. We're no, we never wear pants. No, never ever. No, no. Our leg hair sometimes gets knotted together, <laughs> it's and true. we spend the two minutes after the show sort of it's, clipping it away with toenail clippers. To it's work true, which reminds me uh, another convention that we're going to uh, AnalCon coming up uh, uh-huh. coming up in August yes it's gonna be great that one is hard to take <laughs> it is you need a lot of lube <laughs> I'm always impressed with you your your gumption mm-hmm. your your cleverness your wit your way with the words your way with a woman uh <laughs> Blank. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. Just do a Gollum voice. I mean, <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. I've been married for a long time. I, if I were to be suddenly like lose everybody in some sort of alien attack, uh-huh. I don't really know what I'd do. I'd probably glomp onto you. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, that could that could work. That would be the time to turn could gay. Could work. Yeah. Right well, there. Especially, you know, 
If it were just us on a desert island, oh, we how would be, long before? We would be fucking immediately. Uh, well, immediately. Come on, we would last 48 hours. Well, that's called foreplay. But if we were on a <laughs> desert island and we weren't desert going island, anywhere. We look around, we're like, well, first, we, okay, the first day we have to look around the island to make sure no one else is there and there's no hope for escape, right? I mean. Day two, we got to think about shelter. Day three, maybe listen, we're getting horny. If I were on an island with like Todd Habercorn, who I just met. Who's a uh, great guy, by uh, the way. Name drop. Name drop. Uh, it would take me some time. I'd have to get to know him. But I know yeah. you really well. I know your tickle spots. <laughs> so if we were trapped on a desert that island. I think that makes me bark like a dog. I would, yeah. <laughs> I would freaking get into the rough trade <laughs> practically immediately because we're not going to get saved from the island. That's it. I'm not going to get the comforting touch of my wife anymore. But don't anymore. you need to verify that we're not going to get saved first? Like, give it 24 hours to make sure a rescue party doesn't come There's for no us? fucking swan hatch. <laughs> There's no volleyball with a face painted on it. That's it. The- Early! <laughs> The only comfort that we have is human is contact. the manly touch of your BFF. <laughs> That's all I've got. Don't take that away from me. It's only been 12 hours since the shipwreck, Leo. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, this does look like Catalina Island, and I know boats come regularly, but Sam, come on. Give me something. Throw me a bone. <laughs> all right. I'll let you. Uh, I'll, do a da- I'll do a dance. Give me a handy at least. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we've taken a turn. We've switched to Pabst Blue Ribbon, everybody. Yeah. What is this stuff? This little Lagunitas, Lagunitas, little something, something, uh, tastes like butt. So <laughs> we're going to go. It's kind of like an IPA. It's an acquired taste. It's kind of fruity and not in the good way that I'm accustomed to you mean, when I'm on the interstate. You mean me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the good fruity. We should catch up on how we've been because I this is we're literally doing it for real. Uh, I don't know how Sam has been. I haven't seen him in ages. Uh, I'm still alive. I had a big empty shell, a big empty hole in my chest cavity. A which Sam is shaped Sam's hole. Ha- a fist normally is. <laughs> um, so uh, my fist is somewhere else usually. You're out of your Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskey. Yes. How do you like it. it so far? Uh, it's good. It's making me sweat though, or maybe the booth I is making me sweat, or both. It's the booth because it's it is 104 degrees in here. It could also there's always a certain amount of sexual tension between us. I mean, we it's best to friction. Let, it's like moonlighting. Uh, like you don't want to say it. You don't you don't want to or else that'll ruin. Or like what was it on Friends? Ross and no no. Let's go with Luke moonlighting because I think you are clearly uh, Bruce and I'm Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> Obviously, I'm Sybil Bruce. Shepherd. I know a lot about Sam. Sam knows a lot about me. I know um, that he has a third nipple, and it's not, not on him. his chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so so what we concocted in fear and desperation an hour ago is to try to dig into the last little crevices of each other's personality by coming the, up with questions. By the way, the last little crevices, is yeah. that's where your nipple is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Of all our close personal Male friends. Name drop. The boys. All the na- people we could name drop here. Who could you see yourself with in Bear a great, Grylls? great couple? As a great, oh, as a couple. great couple. Yeah. Not just a fuck buddy. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Not like, just a one night stand. No, no, no. Because but like, we're still. We could be together. Yeah. You have, you, who would be, right. Like, we'd obviously like to, to nail Travis Willingham if that was our of inclination. Of course. I mean, obviously. He's, a, he's a strong, handsome right. man. But he could who, hold me. Who would you like to spend your golden years with? Who would you have the most in common with? You, you there's the bedroom's also involved, but it's not the only thing. No, but there's caring, there's nurturing, there's yeah. Yeah. you know he he gets he gets an illness, and I've got to right care for him and, through oh, it. And one other caveat, uh, yeah, not me. <laughs> oh man, that makes it so. Way who's harder. the other guy? Well, you would be number one. Number one, obviously. Then we went on something called the brainwash, which we could do together mm-hmm. as a as a gay duo, right? On the same inner tube, in a coital position. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Gravity? Didn't instruct us to. <laughs> Have you seen Gravity? Where Sandra Bullock gets in that sort of fetal position? That's yeah. how we were, except Liam was also holding I me. was the donut on the outside. <laughs> he was the yin to my yang. Oh, no. <laughs> we were 69ing, is what we're saying. Um, and we went through the brainwash, which is this awesome ride. I don't know. It, it whips was you dark, around. It, it was, was dark. psychedelic. And then you get spit into this giant cone at the end, and then you are gay married. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, we learned what our butt cracks look like after going uh, down a uh, Mach 5 water Well, slide. I still don't know what mine looks like. I just know what yours looks and like. And I lo- know what yours look like. But I could draw you a picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. Yeah. Who dies in the crash and who lives? Who's a survivor? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. That's messed up. This who, is for who real. Is the Let's unfortunate go. one who got sucked out when the when the tail section. There is a possibility that Sam and I were joining the Mile High Club at the moment. So we might be near the that? rear of the plane. You're using the back handling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I regret nothing! <laughs> you could extract us from the equation now and say that we or, went doing what we love. Or I could completely <laughs> jump. I have an idea. It's been discussed Skydiving. previously. No, I'm never going to do that. Latex. Um, uh, is it some sort of kinky latex thing? I kind of want to leave that behind the scenes <laughs> and not out front. Okay. Anything else you want to plug, Liam O'Brien? Not a thing. Not a guy. My love thing. for you! Oh, let's make out. Okay, good night, everyone. All for you, Damien. <laughs> All for you. You know why I think you're so successful at it? You obviously have Be- decades. No, I'm just going to tell you. Because don't, of don't my get... huge, huge ego and wang. Is that on the website with the different colors? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you obviously have tons of experience and are really good at it, but you also just you also just make people happy. Mm. Uh, there's not a lot Go of on. ego bandied about. <laughs> I don't think you, you make anybody feel threatened. You have a nice touch. You, you just make people happy uh which is why i've latched onto you like a parasite <laughs> um and i and i'm very proud well thank you very proud of you uh, thank you thank mm-hmm. you uh, you know similarly if i can if i can turn the mirror back on you friend uh, oh god <laughs> you have had some success as of late well not even as of late you're just you're my you're my hero you have primo roles in in animation you have amazing roles in video games which i'm frankly jealous of we are filleting each other right (laughs) now i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna be me and whatever comes out comes out uh i'm probably gonna lock eyes with sam and fall deeper in love (laughs) liam and i were gonna just talk about what it's like to be liam o'brien and sam o'brien because we're married common law (laughs) who thinks that it is no one it's just us and our love Make out session. Somebody hit the lights. The thing with being the thing with being is no, no. Leave the lights on. (laughs) But you know we've been together so long, like the days of like. It being hot, kind of pass. It's mostly cuddling now. Well, we do we do role playing games now. Yes, I wrote deal. down a bunch of questions. By the way, sometimes what would you have you... done if we didn't come though? Uh, oh. We would have spooned sixty nine. Yes. <laughs> and Sam, let's have one more baby, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will are you getting pregnant or me? Sure, I'll carry. It. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll work on it tonight. I mean, one third of the show could be about the sex that we have. With each other. Which is very regular. And very exotic. Yeah. yeah. In- involving contraptions. You have never been turned on until you've seen Sam Regal in a baseball mascot outfit <laughs> with a hole cut out in just the right place. <laughs> and not one of the popular baseball mascots. <laughs> no, and the hole not what you think, right? At the left ear. <laughs> I'm doing the fake yawn arm out very close to Sam's shoulder and back like, we're, like I'm going to get it on. And when we go to break, I will. <laughs> Mersh Ray, who I knew the least when we started playing D&D, didn't know at all. And she's just as close as, uh, to me as all of you, except for you, because you are the only one who gets inside me. That's true. Um, That's true. So we just had a serious manversation out there about family and the future and the mm-hmm. past and age mm-hmm. and fame and everything. And mm-hmm. it was super deep. Maybe because we're, we're a bottle of wine in. Maybe. The uh, only <laughs> thing I'll add is that I said how great it is that you and I are going down this road together. Yep, you did. That's it. That's the only thing I'm going to share. There was so much more. Yeah. My pinky. <laughs> he got two digits in. Right. Other things you're good at. Uh, making people smile. Sure. Improvising. 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 Directing yeah. people. Sure. Uh, n- That's about it. <laughs> making me feel uh, Aww. warm and fuzzy. Aww. Uh, fellatio. <laughs> fellatio. That's that's redundant. Uh-huh. You didn't say what you're good at. What am I good at? Yeah. 
Uh, the aforementioned Felicio. Great. Uh, Let me tell you something. Yeah. Uh, you are like my brother. Yep. I love you. Yep. I'm going to flick your nose. Oh, I did it did in it real time. With his bloody finger. <laughs> Um, we had a nice dinner a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Aside from my group dinner, you and I went You to and I. We mm-hmm. just went to a place. It, it was a fancy Italian, well, pizza place. Yeah. But it was great. We had a one-on-one talk, me and Liam O'Brien. Mm-hmm. We talked about our love. We talk, Legitimately, we talked about we our really love. We really did. We talked about meeting and how important we are to each other. We made vows to each we other. We looked into each other's <laughs> eyes, and there was no talking for like minutes at a time. Yeah, it was it was beautiful. We, we drank Italian wine. We're we're joking, we're but joking. we're not joking. But we're not joking. And I, I wish I could go back and look at those two fucking idiots meeting in New York City on a, at the New uh, York Comic Con. Uh, Big uh, Apple, Big Anime, Apple Fest. Anime Fest. Look at those two morons. Who were um, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27 at the most. Two idiots meeting and not knowing that they were meeting their soulmates. (laughs) It's true. You know, I hope... I really hope you know we have we have a good thing. We've had success in in our careers. We've had success in our friendship and in our family life. And I I I I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I I wow. re- I really hope people have that in the in the world. Like I. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> We're drunk. <laughs> this is in. This is going in the podcast. This is going in the podcast. I'm not crying because I'm cold as ice, baby. <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm a fucking I hope bus, people but... have that in their life. I really do. Yeah. I really do. I mean, we've had a we've had a good man. Guys, <laughs> Sam Regal literally has <laughs> tears in his eyes <laughs> right now. That's how drunk we are. I'm very, very moved. Uh, I'm very moved.